Alright! Hey everybody, check it out. Today I'm going to show you how to export your WordPress. Ooh, yeah, yee, ooh, ha. Alright, first thing you need to do, you need to log in, put your username, da 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 da, and then I can put your password, da 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 da. And then you're going to click log in. So click on log in, and it's going to take you to the control panel or dashboard now the dashboard is where you do everything you know you, you can um add pages add posts add links add comments whatever you're doing to your wordpress to make edits or update it you're going to do it from the dashboard which is this big beautiful gray and white screen right here so what you do next you go down to the tools tab now Right up under tools, you're going to look down. Go down one, two, three. You're going to go down three rows under tools, and you're going to see something that says export. Now, this is very important. Click on the export. Bam. And after you click it, it's going to take you to the export screen. Now, I'm going to read this off to you guys, for those that don't feel like reading. When you click the button below, WordPress will create an XML file and you can save it to your computer. This format, which we call the WordPress Extend RSS or the WXR, will contain your posts, pages, comments, custom fields, categories, and tags. Once you save and download this file, you can use the import function on another WordPress blog and import this blog. How cool is that? So, if you want to make a new blog, you don't have to recreate each page or each post you can use this simple function right here called the export under the tools menu the export function to export your wordpress block oh now that's cool so all you got to do is down click on download and export file right here and save it to your desktop or whichever folder you want to save it to click ok and then when you get ready to import it to your website, all you have to do is go down to the tools again, click on import, go down to the WordPress link, which is at the bottom, and then you browse for the file that you just saved to your desktop or whatever folder you saved it to, and then you're gonna click upload file. It's that easy and simple. And after you click upload, you should see your files, your pages, your posts, your links, your categories, and your tags. Everything should be duplicated and brought over to the new website. Now, how cool is that? All right. See you guys next time.